here it is. It's the Donegal's Tower of Terror. And this is, thing is absolutely scary. It's monstrous. It's eight of their signature burgers all stacked on top of each other. We also have some atomic wings in there and a bunch of onion rings and down here a moat of fries. So that being said, I'm hungry, but I don't know if I'm this hungry. Uh, I'm just gonna get into this. I can't wait, I haven't had a burger here in probably three years since my last challenge. So that being said, hope you guys are hungry. I'm pumped. Let's eat. All right, so we've got 60 minutes to complete this. I think I'm ready. We're gonna start off from the top. We've got the basic burger here. Uh, it's a homemade burger. And I'll try to explain uh, exactly what's in each of these burgers as we go along here. So that being said, I'm ready to eat. We'll get my friend Mr. Ketchup already here for our French fries a little bit later. Doesn't look like I'll need much ketchup for these burgers, so they look juicy. All right, on the count of three, two, one, Tower of Terror. Ooh. All right, so we've got their basic burger here. We got lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, mayo, and Thousand Island. Mmm. Very nice there. We've got the nice and crusty uh, outside bun there with their logo. Very nice and soft inside. The beef patty it's nice and juicy on the inside. That's the one thing for sure I noticed on this here. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're at Donegal's to take on their 10 pound Tower of Terror. Might need this stack of napkins here. Okay. <laughs> So not only do we have the eight burgers, we also have their atomic wings, which I will save for a little bit later. That way the heat doesn't hit me too bad. Uh, next one here, we're gonna go with the Donegal burger. This has got our applewood bacon, aged white cheddar, and sauteed mushroom. Whew, on top of the basic burger already with the tomatoes onions, uh, lettuce, mayo, and all the other great stuff. Mm. Yeah, I really like that bacon. I can also get a taste of the atomic wings on each burger as well, so. Almost adding a little bit of spice, but nothing uh, nothing too drastic. And the, the atomic wings here are boneless, so that's a bonus as well. Don't have to pick around them. Yeah, you guys don't have to be quiet. You can talk normally, that's all good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like, we wanna watch you. Yeah, yeah. Aww, what you doing? <laughs> We want to make sure if you can finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> Was there any bets? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. You probably I should have. I'm not sure how it works. I went over here. I saw how it works. It should be free now. He's a pizza. He's done already. I don't know if he's doing his legs. Yeah, I don't know what scare time is. So we've got 60 minutes to defeat all these burgers, sides, and atomic wings. I also add like the white cheese on there. Adds a little bit of a savory flavor in there. A little bit of saltiness, which is great. Mm. 
All right, four and a half minutes in, on to the third burger, which is the habanero. And this is a brand new one for them. So we got the habanero and we got some hot sauce on there as well. So the habanero, it's a mango habanero rubbed AAA ground beef patty topped with jalapeno, jack cheese, bacon, house made habanero jam, lettuce, tomato, and red onions. Yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. See that jelly right there? I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> oh wow, that's nice. I find that to be a nice heat, nothing overpowering. Flavorful. Definitely a sweet flavor in there. It's got a nice aroma. If we finish all the food in front of us before the 60 minute time limit, we'll get the meal for free. Yeah, if you're looking for some heat, this is definitely where you would go. However, if we do not, we'll have to pay the $150 price tag. All right, so next we're gonna go on to their California burger. I'm gonna guess that there's a little bit of avocado on there. What do you guys think? So right there, we've got our beef burger with fresh avocado, house-made onion bacon jam aged with white cheddar cheese, tomato, lettuce, and mayo. Yeah, I like this one. Not over uh, powering flavors, but they all add in together well. You know what? Yeah, the vegetables are very fresh. I'm gonna touch it. Mm -hmm. I just have to sink down a little bit more. So in case you guys missed it, I have previously done two of their burger challenges here at Donegal's. Originally, they had an eight pound burger challenge that went undefeated for years. Even with a cash prize, no one was able to complete it. So what they did is they made the burger a little bit smaller. So it was more of a five pound challenge with the burger and french fries. So I'll put the card up above. You guys can check out that original challenge. All right, yeah. halfway through the burgers after this bite. We got a couple more of those atomic hot wings, and then we have our Mexicao. Woo. Mexicao right there. So this is actually award-winning uh, beef they have here. We've got some marble cheese, pickled jalapenos, crispy bacon, a ton of guacamole there. Uh, we've also got pickled red onion, jalapeno ranch dressing, and of course, lettuce and tomato. Oh yeah, ton of guac on there, you gotta love that. So after we finished the five pound challenge, they offered us their original eight pound challenge. I feel like I got something on my face. <laughs> yeah, the jalapeno adds a nice little spice here as well. There's not a lot of them, but just enough. So of course we decided to come back and try their original undefeated eight pound challenge. 
and I'll put that on the card just above. We'll just say this is a very moist burger. All that guacamole. Burgers, the fresh vegetables. All right, the next one here is the black and blue. There you go. So the black and blue has got the uh, beef patty, of course, with Cajun seasoning. It's got the Stilton blue cheese, chipotle mayo, and the basic fixings of lettuce, tomatoes, excuse me, and onions. I'm not usually a huge fan of blue cheese, so we'll see how this goes. What's nice about this burger is it's the blue cheese is mild, so it's not very strong and overpowering. I'm almost halfway through and I'm really trying to like taste to see if I don't like it, but there's nothing I don't like on this, so a nice mild blue cheese. I guess that description was just in case you didn't hear it the first time. What's cool about all the burgers is they're actually some of them are easier to read, but they're actually stamped with the Donegal's logo on them. Which makes perfect sense to me now why they call them their signature burgers. And I can't really blame them for wanting to put what is, I guess you would call their trademark, onto their wonderful creations. All right, this one I'm looking forward to. Oh, sorry, as far as the blue cheese one, yeah. probably one of the better ones. Like I said, very mild blue cheese. I'm gonna go on to one that I'm looking forward to here. We've got the Guinness Barbecue. So they've got their Applewood smoked bacon. We've got some cheddar cheese. We've got some barbecue sauce, obviously the Guinness. Crispy onion strings and lettuce and tomato. I don't know if they're crispy right now. They've probably been there for a little bit. But I'm looking forward to them anyways. Oh yeah, that sauce. It's really what you're looking for in a burger like this with that sauce, right? That distinct Guinness sauce, uh, sweet, and it's a little bit savory. It's hitting very nicely in my on my flavor palette. Well, not the best descriptor. I may not be the best food critic. However, these are delicious. All of them have been so far, even the one with the blue cheese on it. Beef patty, just as juicy, if not juicier than the rest of them. Burger's been out for a while and it's still nice and juicy, so it's cooked really well. So compliments to the chefs. I like the bacon, it's nice and crispy on this. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so 17.56 in, done seven of the burgers. On to the bottom one, which is apparently one of their best burgers here. I believe it, it's called the Mopsy. Oh man, look at this thing. That's the Mopsy right there. So we've got our 
Obviously the beef patty topped with Swiss cheese, grilled fresh pineapple ring, whole pork, wow, finished in a zesty mango glaze and served with their fresh cut fries at the bottom there. So this thing is, I don't know, it's well into the pound mark, pound and a half. Very hefty there. Mm. I had pineapple on burgers before, but I don't know if I've ever had it with pulled pork, so I like the combination. It just adds, a, I don't know, I love pulled pork and then just adding the pineapple, a little sweetness on top of it. Definitely nice and juicy. That is a beefy, beefy burger. The pulled pork is nicely cooked too because I honestly didn't even taste the first bite there that it had the pulled pork as far as the texture when the flavor was there. But the texture because it's so soft that uh, I barely noticed it if it wasn't for the flavor. Well, I don't know about you guys, but pulled pork is one of my all time favorites. I usually have it by itself with a little bit of barbecue sauce. So it is a bit of a change up to have it on a burger. However, today I am absolutely loving it. All right, last bite. Nice work. All right, so all the burgers gone. 21.40 in. Since I like onion rings so much, I'm gonna save those. And then since I don't like the heat, I'm gonna save those for the very, very end. We got some Canabec fresh cut fries. Saw them being made in the back. Nice and crispy, golden brown there. Probably got about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds of french fries. As a nice little additive, we got some burger shrapnel on top of them as well. So I've got a little guacamole on this one. What kind of french fries do you guys like? These are Canabex. Mine would have to be sweet potato fries. But comment below what your favorite type of french fry is. And honestly, sweet potato fries are definitely my favorite. However, they do have to be cooked correctly. As you guys already probably know, in a few of my challenges, they haven't been cooked correctly and I have a tendency to get the hiccup. So luckily I didn't have that problem today. Some very nicely cooked Canabix. 25 and a half minutes in, a little bit over. All right, so we're just about wrapping it up here and I wanted to give Donegal's a big thank you for hosting us once again and allowing us to try some more of their delicious food. All right, time for the onion rings. Eight burgers, french fries. A few more carbs, fuel up my next workout. Mm. A nice crisp, I don't know if you guys can hear that. 
Mm. Oh yeah. It almost reminds me like an A and W onion ring. It's very good. Not quite as thick, but definitely as tasty, if not better. And before we do wrap it up here, guys, I wanted to thank you for joining me on this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. On to the boneless atomic wings. And if you did, don't forget to smash the like button. And I hope I left you hungry for more. You know what to do. We'll see you on the next one. Very uh, a comment, a cheering, cheerful. I don't know. Very happy. Supportive. Um, I think. What's that? Supportive. Supportive. Yeah. So there we go. We got the time of 29:56. We had one full hour. And we got it done in 30 minutes. So I'm really happy about that. Had a great meal here at Donegal's. I don't know which one was my favorite. Uh, if I had to choose, hmm, I like the Mopsy. I liked it. It had the pulled pork and it also had uh, the uh, pineapple on there as well. Um, or mango glaze. That tastes a little bit like pineapple, but it's a mango glaze. And honestly, all their burgers were absolutely delicious. They're their signature burgers. The only one we didn't have here was their veggie because I don't know if that would have been appropriate with that, you know? Uh, I would have liked it, but hey, maybe next time they'll make the same challenge with maybe just all veggie burgers or something. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed eating the food. Uh, if you're ever in the Surrey area, come down to Donegal's, try out their burgers, try out their fries, onion rings, atomic wings. Atomic wings were nice and tasty. They weren't too hot. I was trying to get them in before the 30 minute mark. So uh, I did actually enjoy them and they were boneless, which is an added bonus, right? With that being said, I hope I get left you hungry for more. And if I did, see you on the next one.